Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel. See this of the truth lies within, and we are going to do the recording of twenty sixth of April. And in today's blessing, Supreme God Father is reminding us that what we attain in this world stays here, and what we attain from the Supreme Creator or the Supreme Father is unlimited, and it goes with us for many many lives. and we become the richest being in the whole world maybe not rich in the worldly ways but rich in spiritual ways so let's see what his baba have to say or god father has to say <coughs> baba says in the blessing in the heading may you have the faith and intoxication of being the most elevated and wealthy and of having full and unlimited rights rights to what rights to godly powers godly virtues and godly knowledge at present you children become those who have such elevated and full rights that you have a right to the almighty authority himself when you get to know who we are as a soul as an energy as a light and we get to know the supreme being as an energy as a light and we get to know how to connect to him in many ways in different ways with different relationships then we get all the values and the virtues and the different powers of those relationships with him so the children who have a right to god also claim a right to all relationships and total wealth <coughs> so in terms of relationships when we say that he is a father it doesn't mean that he is a physical father it means that he is a father of knowledge father of values father of virtues and he is giving us all of them just like somebody is a father of botany somebody is a father of psychology somebody is a father of mathematics somebody is a father of astrology astronomy so it doesn't mean that that person is your father if you're studying that subject it just means that they are the father or the creators of that knowledge so god is a father to us that means he gives that knowledge to us so he becomes the father of that knowledge <coughs> at this time you receive from the father the blessing of having most elevated wealth you have the imperishable wealth of all virtues we learn how to imbibe honesty even while being in this world where honesty is termed as something which is irrational we imbibe virtues such as patience when people say you should hurry up and do things otherwise you'll be left behind in this world we imbibe patience so that we don't end up doing bigger mistakes so we learn why all those virtues are important and all those powers and elevated knowledge is what we receive as the wealth from god therefore no one is as wealthy as you imagine having somebody who's rich in this world or the richest in this world financially and having you besides him that person who has got all the powers or the values and the virtues that even if everything goes away in your life physically financially you are still stable whereas a person standing next to you that person just loses millions and billions of dollars in a second that person might go into depression so who's most richest in this world think about it again and if you want to become that person who doesn't have anything but at the same time can be peaceful have contentment have happiness constantly then do it in the seven day course and learn the art of being that most stable and the most wealthiest being in this world with this om shanti